So, I installed the latest uh, firmware and Auto Sky app that is supposed to help us with a lot of the issues that we have seen in the past. It is supposed to fix the jello issue as well as offer us uh, the 15 meters per second speed capabilities, at least when the drone is flying in ludicrous mode. And ludicrous mode is uh, basically the version of uh, sport mode that Autel is offering. So it's becoming a rainy here later today. So we better take advantage of uh, the options uh, that we have right now. And so let's just do a UAV forecast here. This is a nice uh, app that will allow us to assess. And uh, this is at 75 meters, so we can easily go up to 75 meters. So this is the weather alert for today. So that looks pretty good. It's within the specs of uh, the drone here. We also make sure that we have meters per second down here. I know you American and UK people would like to have this differently. That would make it easier for us to judge the maximum flight speed of 15 meters per second. That was reduced to 30 meters per second if we are capable of reducing that. These is uh, the zebra stripes here in the top. Many of you are commenting on these when I'm doing these videos. And this is basically the overexposure warning. And that should be in here somewhere. And that will allow you to see where the image is overexposed. But I will take that one away as it is uh, right now. Okay, so what the Autel has done here to help us out is that they have under control, under flight mode, you have the different options for uh, the par parameters of the different flight modes here. But if we go under ludicrous, we have the option to prioritize between stable video and speed. So if uh, we right now just let it be in, uh, in uh, video mode, where it prioritizes nice video and then keep an eye out for the yellow. So right now it's going 12.4 in this direction. And Reach the maximum flight distance. So now we are at the maximum flight distance. So then let's just move back here. See if we can make it go faster the other way here. We see that it maxes out around eight on the way back. So 12.5 on the way out, nine, 9.5, 10-ish, at 10.5, yeah, something like that. So if I go in here and I change the, oh, not that one, <laughs> on flight modes, and I change it so it prioritizes speed, then speed prioritizes the flight speed with stronger wind resistance, but camera performance may be less stable. So that makes sense. So let's just repeat the test here. We can just fly around here. I just do a rough turn here. So approximately the same position here. Then we give it a go. So see. 13, definitely higher. 14. Did I see 14? 14, 14.3 14, <laughs> was the highest. 14, 7. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Almost close to 15. Reach the maximum flight distance. All right, and then we go back in and again keep an eye out for the jello here. So punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. So nine, ten. So we're definitely getting a higher speed here. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, and on the way back, we are getting closer to 12, which was basically the speed we had on the way out when uh, we selected uh, the other option where it had to prioritize video. We want to cross the road out here, so let's just fly a little bit here along the road. So it's supposed to fix, fix the video jello and gimbal on level horizon issue in standard mode. So let's put it back in standard mode. So that was smooth. Now we are in standard mode. So. So 10 meters per second, which is the advertised speed. 
reached the maximum flight distance. Yes, I know. Yeah, then I can't do the soft turn, so. <laughs> Let's just fly back here. So, of course, I can't really see if we have any gel issues here, but normally we can see that if we go low. It's easier to see that. So let's just try and lower it a little bit here. So, go ahead here. Improve gimbal calibration to decrease horizon tilt. So it seems they have done a lot to improve the performance uh, of uh, the gimbal. And uh, you could argue that the horizon is not completely level as it is right now if you look at the lines here and the rule of third grid. Um, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Also, I noticed another detail here is that if you go in here on the camera, Maybe that's been there all the time, but at least not last time uh, when I checked this. The defog option, you have uh, uh, several possibilities here to, to uh, add low defog. You can do, uh, it's annoying that it resets the menu here. You can do medium. And you can do high. So oh, now it's completely defogged, not fucked, but defogged, <laughs> taking away a mist and haze of the image. That's a, I would say, quite a huge difference. Let's just put it over here so we have the, this chimney over here. So and then let's just go in and, okay, let's just let it stay here for a second so we have a reference. And then if I go under camera here and I say defog off you can see the difference so there's quite a lot of difference in <laughs> contrast and saturation in the image I know it's uh, they are faking it by uh, adjusting the the camera uh, parameters so um, yeah so let's see what else we have of interesting stuff in here so uh, the ludicrous mode, we have the option to prioritize uh, speed and camera stability. We have tried that out. Speed priority, yeah, this is just an explanation here. The aircraft maximum flying angle has been increased in ludicrous mode. I guess we have shown that. At least we have shown that it is capable of reaching in ideal conditions uh, the maximum advertised uh, flight speed. One thing that could be funny to test out is if we just go over here. We switch it into ludicrous. We put the gimbal here, so the upper th uh, rule of third here, or the rubber, upper third part of the screen aligns with the horizon. And then, uh, so see, now we can go 14. So I just want to go against the wind because that's more fun. Okay. Reach the maximum so flight now distance. we are turning around here and heading back. So see now, in ludicrous mode, it maxes out around 10-ish. So if I now turn around the drone <laughs> and fly exactly the same direction backwards, it would be funny to see if it's actually faster. It's not. With this firmware version, it's not faster if you fly backwards. That's kind of interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> so I think they have done some software limitations there because I have tested it out before this firmware update and it was actually going significantly faster backwards. Okay, follow, follow that car. I wonder when we will have uh, the follow mode or the tracking mode. But until we have that, we're just doing a manual track here. <laughs> that can be done as well. This is the, so then let's just see here, this is the Android version. It's uh, the aircraft firmware is 1114 and the app version is a 116 and it is Android. The iOS version is not yet available. It seems that is a bit uh, behind. So I hope you like these improvements that uh, Autel have been offering here. Uh, I think it's really, really nice. I like it. Also, we can now confirm 
take it out of ludicrous mode, put it into standard mode, and now we can confirm that the download sensors are not working. Why are they not working? So we can confirm that the, the obstacle avoidance sensors and uh, bottom sensors are still not working on Android. So what do you think about this update from Auto? Is it awesome? Let me know in the comment below. So they haven't fixed that part with the gimbal self-checking. So uh, if you're interested in some of the other videos that I've made around the, the Autel Nano Plus that is getting better all the time, then I'll compile a playlist that you can access through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.